Monday, the 10th of August, 8.37 a.m., 81 degrees outside. How are you today? I am doing really, really well. Um, we have started off this Monday morning. I am watching RV videos, um, kind of touring. It's, uh, let's see, what is this called? Uh, what's the channel called? All About RVs. Uh, it's a dealership, an RV dealership and um, they just are doing tours of all sorts of different RVs. There's a couple of channels that I'm following that are doing this. Um, we are looking at different sizes, different layouts, that kind of thing, more than you can actually see at the RV shows. Um, and uh, looking so that we can make an appointment with some dealers to go by and look at the uh, different sized RVs. We're looking at something quite small and quite compact um, so that we could tow with an SUV or something small, a smaller, like a small truck, a small SUV, a 1500 truck, um, something like that. Now, of course, we have a big truck that we pull for work, uh, but trying not to use that uh, for leisure because, um, you know, it's a work truck and we don't really want to put excess, excess mileage or anything on that because it's extremely expensive to replace. Uh, it's a diesel, it's a big truck, and those are very expensive. So honestly, we could get another 10 years out of our truck. And so if we don't have to replace it, we'd rather not. You know what I mean? We'd rather spend that money on something else. Um, anyway, so I pulled my hair back in a bun. This scrunchie came in a subscription box and I don't remember which one. I'm gonna have to go back and watch my videos and see if maybe I said the name. This is a fantastic scrunchie, but I think it was sent as like a little extra thing by a brand in one of the subscription boxes. Um, so I've started putting my hair up in a bun. When I put my hair up in the little loop through thing, it puffs up around, it's extremely heavy. And for some reason, wrapping it in the bun, it weighs, it's different. The distri distribution of the weight is differently. And it's finally long enough to actually do that. And this scrunchie is the perfect size and it holds it nice and tight. It's not falling down. I am super excited. So I went on Amazon and I ordered a pack of like this, it's not the silk, I ordered the satin. I did not want to spend $43 on three hair bands. <laughs> I just did not want to. So um, I ordered some satin ones off of Amazon and we're gonna try those, I'm gonna try those out, but you guys remember I have a whole bunch of hair. So that's why this one is ideal. So I sort of measured this one and found some on Amazon that are the same size. This morning I am about to have breakfast. I did run to Costco yesterday just for a couple of things and I wanna show you the things that I found I was so excited about. First of all, if you have not tried these, these are popping up in stores around me everywhere. However, I just realized they are an Austin, Texas, Austin-based company. So I don't know if they've distributed farther north yet. Um, these are fantastic. Now, I'm not super familiar with keto versus dirty keto. David, Booze Cruise, he talks about it a lot and I'm still learning. But uh, the ingredients on this are, are organic cauliflower, organic high oleic sunflower and or safflower oil, sea salt and organic maltodextrin. They are distributed by Rhythm Superfoods LLC and they are certified organic uh, and made in Mexico. Uh, you can go to rhythmsuperfoods.com. So I will see if these are available online. I do wanna know because if it's less expensive online, of course. In the grocery store, these are really expensive. They're expensive at Costco, but this is the 5.75 ounce bag for $6.99. There's six servings in this bag, so roughly $1.25, $1.15 per serving. Um, and it is, uh, a serving size is one ounce, 90 calories, and four net carbs, and seven grams of fat. These are cauliflower chips. They're very crunchy. These taste just like a potato chip. I'm not kidding. Okay, not identical, but as close to a potato chip as you're going to find. I only have the little small bits left in here. There are some bigger bits. Like dehydrated cauliflower pieces. They're crispy, they're crunchy, they're salty, they're delicious. Delicious. 
I bought these at Costco on Friday, Thursday, one of those days. I went back yesterday and bought four as a backup because at the grocery store, they're a smaller bag and considerably more expensive. If I can find them, I will link them for you online. Otherwise, if you can find them in your local grocery store, go look for them. These are fantastic. I will always have these on hand going forward. They're fantastic. They're really, let me, let me give you a little crunch example. Mm. It is just like a potato chip. So good. Oh my goodness. Now, the problem you're going to have with them is portion control. So, if you are truly keto, me personally, as you know, I'm mostly just grain-free. That's the reason why I follow the keto diet, grain-free and sugar-free. Um, so, just keep portion control in mind. It's a smaller portion than you, than you would visually think. <laughs> so good. Okay, then I found this. Look at this. This is by Autumn's Gold Grain-Free Pancake and Baking Mix. Now, this is more paleo than keto. However, it is low carb. So, almond flour, tapioca flour, cream of tartar, sea salt, baking soda, and vanilla. So, that's what's in here. A third of a cup mix is a serving. 35 servings in the container. There, It's 200 calories. 17 grams of fat, seven carbs, and three grams of fiber. So four net carbs. I know that's a little high for a baking mix. I, I know like if you, but honestly, almond flour is a little higher in carbs. I just really wanted to try this. I thought this was an excellent choice, uh, something that is easy for those of us who really don't want to invest in a bajillion different flours like I have, and I have a cabinet full over there. I wanted to try it. but on the back here and I'm sure their website has more to, more uh, recipes they have pancakes and waffles cookies and muffins so yeah for more recipes autumn's gold I am so excited about this we're gonna be playing with this in a little bit I really want to make pancakes the uh, keto pancakes are okay they're really dense though and so I'm hoping this might be I don't know we'll see we will see it's eighteen dollars and ninety nine cents for this so again, expensive. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much for your suggestions about Aldi's and getting the bread there. It's not gluten-free, so I'm not able to eat it. That's why I'm on this big quest for some ready-made frozen breads, because if I want bread, I do have to bake it from scratch. And um, so I was looking for some that were available commercially that I could kind of have on hand and have in the freezer because I don't always want sliced bread every day and if you bake it I feel like you really kind of need to consume it but I'm gonna play around with some freezing of different ones but um, this I wish I could eat those but most of them have vital wheat gluten in them so I'm not able to eat them but I sincerely appreciate you guys suggesting it um, I really wish that I could eat them I really do because I see David's video where he gets them and I'm just like mmm so, speaking of, I told you on the last vlog we were gonna talk about the Julian Bakery breads. I bought two, four different types. So there's a, a keto bread, a paleo, and a, one pack of keto, keto bread, which came with three, and then one pack of the paleo bread, which is a coconut bread, this seed bread, and then an almond flour bread. So we're, today I'm gonna try the Paleo Thin. This is the seed medley bread, paleo and keto friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, non-GMO, 65 calories a slice, six grams of program, protein, six grams of fiber, and two net carbs per slice. Those are some pretty good stats, let me tell you, because normally this stuff is just laden with calories. So here is the full loaf you can see here again this is expensive but for those of you who are grain free totally or those of you who are gluten free and keto this is um, that's why I'm trying this so we can see what this is like let me get this open um, it says you need to freeze them upon arrival they I had them shipped here from Julian bakery direct um, and it says to freeze them upon arrival and um, I did not. I froze some of them and the others I stuck right in the refrigerator and it seems to be doing pretty well. Um, but it says if you're going to freeze them, you need to um, 
put individual pieces of parchment in between them. Again, I didn't do that. This smells like vinegar. It has a vinegary smell, but a lot of bread has that smell to me. Here it is. There you go. It's, it does, it's dense. It is dense, it's a heavy bread, but it feels nice and soft. The seeds here on the front, so my battery light's flashing. So, I am going to fix my breakfast. I'm sorry. Come on, focus, there we go. I'm gonna fix my breakfast. I'm gonna have some eggs and bacon this morning and I'm gonna toast this up and I will show it to you. And uh, do not eat this untoasted, even at room temperature. I, I don't recommend that. So it's not great as a sandwich bread. You do need to toast it. So there we go. But you know what? This, the almond version was pretty good. I will show you all of them, hopefully throughout this vlog, so that you can see all the different ones. But let me toast this up real quick and make my breakfast, and I'll be back to show you. Okay, so I have toasted it. I didn't didn't go super brown with it because I figured you guys wouldn't really want super brown. So here, let me get it to focus, and then I will show you. There we go. You can see nice and airy excellent okay all right so let me put a little butter on here it still smells very strong of vinegar but that may also be because it's been in my fridge about a week it recommends butter so <laughs> doesn't really have a lot of flavor so i recommend salted salted butter for sure or a very good jam I just don't recommend um, it plain. So there you go. It's okay, it's not great. The other ones that I've tried are better. I'm not super fond of this one. I mean, I'll get through it, but um, the other ones are better. The others have a little more flavor. And honestly, I don't think I like the seeds in it. So there you go. So this one, is a miss, but for me personally, but if you like seed breads, if you like like uh, artisan loaf seeds, seed breads, you actually pretty much like this one. So um, it's lacking in salt. So whatever you do to it may need a little salt or if you're gonna do something sweet on it, it, it would be good for that. Okay, I'm gonna eat my breakfast, which is just eggs and bacon. Okay, well it's lunchtime now and uh, I'm gonna try for you, I'm gonna show you this is the Julian Bakery. It is the Keto Thin uh, uh, Almond Flour Bread. I believe it's almond flour. Okay. Grain-free bread, uh, water, almond flour, eggs, butter, cream cheese, vanilla extract, and baking soda. So there you go. This has 140 calories per slice, 12 grams of uh, fat, eight grams of protein, and zero net carbs. How do they do zero net carbs with the almond flour? I don't know, but they, maybe they defat it. There's, you can do that. Anyway, um, here it is. You can see I've had some already, but I'm gonna have, maybe I didn't say, did I say avocado toast for lunch? It has a sweet smell to it. So it's definitely a sweeter bread. It might be really good for uh, French toast. So I'm gonna toast it up. Uh, it's one slice is 140 calories, so 280, yeah. So I'm gonna have two slices. Um, you can see the cream cheese in it. I don't really like cream cheese in my breads. It adds, it makes it heavy, but we're gonna try this, and um, I have tried this. I actually do like this toasted. It's pretty good, even with just butter, with, um, I haven't made the strawberry jam yet. I need to get some strawberries. So here's this, I'm gonna toast it. But later on today, I'm going to make some crackers. I'm going to be making the uh, defatted almond flour crackers from Sugar Free Londoner. Very simple uh, recipe, just a few ingre couple ingredients, and it looked easy enough. And um, I have some boars and cheese in there that I'd really like to have as a snack later on today. Okay, scratch the avocado. I don't know what is going on with avocados from Costco. This is the second batch I've gotten that have been. I mean, they're rubbery hard and they don't ripen. I don't, I just thought last time it was a fluke. It's again this time, you can't get the seed out. That was, it's a nightmare. So um, unfortunately, maybe that's why they're such a great price. I don't know, I haven't heard anything from anybody else, but 
That's really frustrating. These are so underripe, but they felt soft on the outside, so I was like, oh, they must have ripened up, they'll be good, no. These are hard as a rock, rubbery hard, very disappointed. So we're just gonna have toast. I'm gonna go ahead and make a sandwich, ham and Swiss with um, mayonnaise, maybe some pickles. One second, I'm gonna make a sandwich. It's a shame the avocado is bad because this would have made a really good sandwich. And the only thing that would make this better is maybe a slice or two of bacon. We should probably put that on there. I'm going to do that. And a tomato, slice of tomato. We don't have the tomato, so we'll just add some bacon. I'm gonna throw that on and then I'll show you the sandwich completed. Okay, let's take a nice big bite of this. This promises to taste delicious, I hope anyway. That was very good. I really like that. The bread is a nice consistency. I might have even toasted it a little bit more, but having toasted it, it's still not super crunchy, so it makes for a nice sandwich. I, I'm pleased with this. I'm very pleased with this. As I've said, I prefer the paleo over, excuse me, I prefer the keto over the paleo, um, but just a hair, pretty much the same thing. So anyway, this is delicious. I will leave it linked for you in the description box. It's just a link. It doesn't do anything for me. It's not a commissioned link. It's straight to Julian Bakery. So you can buy it in a three pack and I believe an individual. So just take a look. And again, if you're there, order the tortillas. I told you about before. I am going to order some more tortillas here for the trip for the RV. And uh, if you'd like, you can also make your own, which are nearly identical from Serious Keto. I will leave that link in the description box for you as well. Okay, I'm gonna go eat my lunch. So the crackers are done. Let, I can see the importance of them being very, very thin. I have tried one before it was cooled down. These are quite warm now, but they look like a cracker. Uh, the defatted, defatted um, almond flour really makes all the difference here, but let's see. Yeah, they're still a little chewy, but Yeah, I guess they need to cook a little longer. But as far as crackers go, thinner is definitely better. This is really hard to roll out. Really hard. Not a lot of flavor in these. I think, I feel like if we would mix this with Parmesan or cheese, which I don't like fat dough. I don't mean make a fat dough, but I mean mix this with the egg, with some cheese and some water. It might be a better dough. She didn't call for water. I had to use it. It was not mixing. It was like it was too much powder to egg. So her defatted almond flour may have been different than mine. So we've, we've made our first batch. Like this one's really, really thin. And you see, this is how thin it needs to be. Like just, ultra thin, then it's actually a cracker. So, gotta work on this dough. 
but it's just too firm to roll out really thin. I mean, you saw me work in it and it was just, so we're gonna try this, it'll be fine. I mean, I will eat these, it'll be fine. I still have a whole bunch of dough left over. And what I may do with that dough is break it down and mix it in a couple of different ways to see if I can't maybe get it a little more workable. So I'll play with it and I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'm gonna leave this recipe linked for you below. I will leave the almond flour linked for you in the description box as well. But when I say these need to be like super duper thin in order to be crispy, they really do. So be prepared to put some muscle into it to get them to go thin. But once they do, when they're this thin and crisp, they're crispy and fantastic. So, but again, I'm gonna play with them. Maybe if the dough is warm, it might roll a little easier. I don't know. We're gonna play with it, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Kitchen. What? You complete me kitchen, baby. Good morning, how are you today? I am doing really, really well. Um, I went for a run on the treadmill this morning, jumped in the shower. Actually, kind of got a late start today. Um, Natty's getting a drink. Uh, you see that up there. That's because there's no more room. So it's up there and it's close dated. So it's reminding me I need to eat it. I need to consume it. I tried a new Amazon coffee. Let me, I tried the donut blend. It's good. The hazelnut is better. I can't wait to try the vanilla. This is $4.10. And when it's on the subscribe and save, it's like $3.95 for a bag of coffee. You guys know I love my H-E-B coffee, my Cafe Olay coffee, absolutely love it. And when it goes on sale, I buy it. But this, you can't beat that price. All right, I told you guys yesterday about the hair ties that I ordered, whoops. Here is the one that I got from the subscription box. No idea the brand, it's very stretchy, it's really good. These are better, uh, they're tighter. So I don't know if they're gonna stretch out. I used one this morning and my hair stayed in a bun on a run, which was impressive. And it didn't move in the, I pulled it down because it kind of got heavy when I was running. So I pulled it down and put it just in a regular ponytail. It didn't move. These are amazing. They're $9.99. There's another one in the bedroom. You get six of the bigger ones like this. And then you get six of the little bitty ones. They're not little bitty, they're smaller. Um, like this. I haven't used these. I will. I'll use them just for standard ponytails. And then I'm going to go ahead right now and order a backup of these because I don't, you know, things sell out on Amazon. Those are good. So I'm going to get a backup of those. They came very fast. They're in the little baggie here. Okay. So I did finish painting the door yesterday, which you saw. Let me put this stuff away and we'll show you the door. Okay. Let's go look at the front door. There we go. Looking good. Looks really good. So when I put on, it's gonna look even better. I'm very excited about it. I'm so excited. It just makes me happy. So you gotta do what makes you happy. You can't worry about what anybody else thinks. Because good morning. It is Wednesday, 9.17 a.m., the 12th of August, 84 degrees outside. How are you today? It is truck day. Um, if you're new, which a lot of you are, um, truck day is where I go to the office. We have a warehouse. We go to the warehouse. We have a big 18 wheeler that delivers our product, um, uh, to us and we unload or Rob unloads and then we load into the truck and trailer at the warehouse. All the noises. I just, <laughs> Joe just got a long drink. Now we have something flying over. <laughs> little dog's intrigued. He's getting a drink. I feel like I have too much blush and bronzer on. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you the front door. It's all done, but I'm about to switch out my bag. So this is just a bag I have, and this is my Balzano bag that just came in my last box, and I'm really excited about that. And this bag, I really like this bag, but um, it's getting heavy and full. So um, because of all the extra stuff we're carrying with us right now, I don't want this small bag. I want to switch to my bigger Balzano bag. Um, but I'm going to, thought I'd show you what's all in my bags. Um, this, and now Addie is getting a drink. I mean, seriously. This is a, I just call it a key. It's so you don't have to touch things when you go to the ATM or you're at the grocery store and you're putting in your PIN number for a purchase or whatever the case may be. Um, you can open doors with this so you don't have to really touch anything. Um, 
it's good. I use it and I have it on this little stretchy thing hanging off the side of my purse because I found when it was on my keys, I was digging in my purse for it. it this way, you know, pull, trying to pull it out of my pocket or whatever the case may be. So I just found that this was easier. Um, Rob keeps his attached to his uh, belt loop and um, because we're out so much working, this kind of helps you not touch as many things, but do remember to disinfect this. So I will leave this both linked for you if you don't have one. Um, you know, even in normal times, this might be something nice to have. You know, I think we're all gonna be much more conscientious of germs. So uh, normally I would leave this on my bag, but since I'm going to have a couple of other things hanging off of my bag, I'm actually gonna take that off but normally I really like that. And you just hook it right on there, and there you go. Um, it's not super attractive, but you know what? It's practical, and sometimes we have to be practical and not worry so much about attractiveness. So um, I really love this purse. I'll link that video up here for you. Um, all right, so what's in here? Well, first of all, we have um, hand sanitizer. Uh, this little container, I'm just refilling with uh, sanitizer I keep getting at the store. I do have the gel version of the Grove hand sanitizer. Honestly, it is my most favorite, the Grove kind. It's moisturizing. I find the Bath and Body Works and a lot of the other ones are very drying. Um, and this one isn't. And I like the smell. It's orange. So if you don't have that, I recommend getting it from Grove. On the other side over here is just a ton of keys this is my car key and my house keys and they're each on their own carabiner because i run and i bring my keys with me not my car key and i separate it but when i'm working i do put my car key on my belt loop so so i don't have to carry a purse or anything with me so i do keep them like this and that goes on the other side of my bag on the hanging because i access it so much it comes on and off and I have been thinking about putting it on one of the stretchy things so I can store it on the inside of my purse. I don't know. We'll see. The outside pocket, I just have a receipt. So here is the inside, packed out, full of junk. I haven't cleaned it out. Let's see, this side are coupons that you get when you go grocery shopping. I always keep them with me because, um, you know, I never know if I'm gonna be in the store. So, they, you know, you get them when you check out, and Kroger often mails coupons. Those are the only coupons I actually really use. I'm not a couponer, just not, never have really been. Ooh, this is a lot of stuff in this tiny little purse. Yeah, you can tell over time, things just, oh, I wanna wear this lipstick today, and so I throw it in the bag, or, and then I end up with 14 lipsticks in a bag. This came, I think, in a um, confetti collection. No, I don't know, maybe. Anyway, in here I have a makeup wipe. I have a couple of makeup wipes, disposable kind, just in case. A couple of contacts, um, some flossers, some several different kind of flossers, some Q-tips, um, contact solution, which I now have two. <laughs> I just need one. In fact, I'm going to take this one's almost gone. So um, that all that's in there. I'm going to put my chapstick in there, and. Um, that's it. My friend Shannon gave this to me and I keep it in here. It's just the prayer and a cross just for, you know, well keeping. Um, I also have angels that come with me, um, either charms or in the form of a little nickel or something. Um, I just believe in having angels with us all the time. Um, you will see a theme here, <laughs> breath mints. Uh, I am a breath mint person. I really enjoy breath mints. <laughs> um, so there you go, uh, especially if you follow a keto diet, sometimes it can give you like bad breath and so I'm very conscientious of that. So that's coming in my bag. I do need a makeup bag in here, so I am gonna go find one. So I have several different lips in here and they are all in a form of moisturizing. This is the Kosa Sport, I really like this and I really like the color of this one. It's just a, like a, I don't know, for me, my lips fit better. This is a beautiful, bright Revlon. It's too small, Luminosity or something. I really like these lipsticks. I have one on today in a different pink. This one is the Sugar Rose. Uh, this has SPF 15 in it, but I have the uh, one 
with SPF in it for work. And this is an instant light rosewood lip balm perfecter from Clarence. They don't make this anymore. I love this. Now it's in the squeezy tube and I just prefer this one. So uh, hand sanitizer wipes. I'm actually going to put them in here. I don't really, we're out of these. These are like the precious few we have left. We can't get them in stock just anywhere. My credit cards. Um, it, just have a credit card slip here. I don't really have a lot of credit cards. Uh, really, you know, I bring like my American Express when I travel. That's about it. I always have a marker and a pen. I don't know why. I just do. Those in the side pocket. Masks. I need to refill this. I have some hand lotion. This is Loctane. Loctane? 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 I don't know. Um, I just really like this one. I like that it's small. I have several small ones. This came in with the Balzano. And um, so I'm going to go fill my masks, a, an extra hair tie that goes, you know, I'm actually going to put that in here as well, just because it doesn't need to just be floating around my purse. Again, you see how much I put in this tiny little, like almost pencil bag. So I really think this came in a confetti collection. So there's that. Now I have some perfume and some makeup here. I'm going to go get a makeup bag and I will show you and I'll be right back. I forgot I had used these. I bring these when I travel as well. These are washcloths and you just need a little bit of water and you can, you know, wash anything you need to wash. You'd be surprised how handy these are. And the reason why I didn't show you is because I actually used mine. Um, we had a spill in the car and I used that to wipe it up and, you know, wring it out, wipe it up, wring it out. It was very useful, very, very useful. So. Those I like to always have with me. So even though we're not using them on a cruise ship in port right now, we are definitely using them at home. This is just an Ipsy bag I have. So um, I'm only gonna put in, no, I'm gonna put all my lipsticks in here just because I use them. I have a couple of perfumes. I really like this Mimosa. It came, a commodity Mimosa. It came in a um, Test Tube Beauty. I'm sorry, it took me a minute to get that out of my mouth. And this is just a, uh, Scentbird, an old Scentbird perfume. This one's Guerlain. Just smells. I like strong perfumes in my purse because typically if I'm reaching for a strong perfume, it's probably because I got really sweaty or something. This is a Blatterazzi. I love this. These didn't get great reviews, but I absolutely love them. So that's what I use if I get a little oily. I have that in there. And then a little bit of touch up um, powder. Um, this one is I've told you before, the number seven brand. I just really like number seven. I wish the compact was a little thinner and smaller. It's like a lot of compact for, like it's unnecessary to be so big. Um, I just like this. This one is the Perfect, perfect Light uh, Translucent Pressed Powder. I just, I like it. So that's the one I bring for touch-ups in case I need them. And that's all the makeup I bring with me. I've never gone long enough to need to bring like mascara or just, I don't need all that stuff. So if I ever get into a situation where I'm in a rainstorm and I've wiped all my mascara off, well then it's just off. <laughs> I'll be home soon enough. And this is a cleaning cloth uh, for my contacts. Today I'm bringing this with me. This is called Power Up Dual Phase Setting, Phase Setting Spray. So I use it just as a refreshing mist. mist. You could use um, just a witch hazel mist or a rose spray. This just, it came in a box and it's what I use. Um, I have several different rose sprays and stuff like that that have come in boxes and honestly I really like them after I've been working on the truck or something but outside in this oppressive heat here in Texas. I mean we're going to be 102 today, 100% humidity. It's just hot. Um, so these are really nice either while you're working or you know, after you're done, you're about to get in the car, drive home or whatever. Um, it's just refreshing. It cools you down. So that's coming with me today. Um, and like I said, I need to refill my masks. I keep my mask in a Ziploc bag. Gone ahead and put them in a larger bag. That bag didn't really fit. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put a pair of gloves in. Um, maybe just two pairs of gloves. All right. So there's both of those going in my bag. Now we're nice and organized. Here we are, everything in there, and good to go. When we're like traveling, um, leaving the house on a road trip, my purse will be loaded up with protein bars and snacks and things like that. So that's one of the reasons why I like a bigger bag. 
and it's not super heavy, it's not loaded down, and it's on my shoulder, which is what I prefer. All right, so let's go look at the front door. Oh, actually, we'll do that in one second. So I thought about with the crackers, I have a pasta roller, a pasta machine, pasta maker. I'm gonna try it in there. I'm gonna have to put it in some parchment paper, cat hair, and some parchment paper, and um, then roll it through. But I'm gonna try that and see how well that works. Now I may gum up my pasta machine with this dough, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it out. But that's a thought because it really was very difficult to roll that dough out, but the crackers, the super thin ones, were delicious, delicious. And I can imagine if you sprinkled a tiny little bit of Parmesan on them and more and salt, like I, uh, uh, these will be the cracker, the go-to cracker. So I really need to figure out a method for rolling them out. And one jar of that will make, it would have to make 200 crackers. It would have to. I mean, I got what, 25 or 30 out of that tiny little portion of it I used. So there we go. And let's go look at the front door. So there we go. I may paint the trim, I may not. I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't know. Whoop, that light is not happy. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. Thank you, Bob, so, 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 so much for that. And thank you, Linda, so, so much for the inspiration. I just love this. They both make me so happy. Now my friend Frank. If you don't know who Frank is, you can find him on Instagram. He is a wedding and party planner and he is amazing. Amazing, whoops, hold. He really is amazing. He has some beautiful ideas for weddings and parties. So unique and so different. Anyway, I will leave his Instagram linked in the description box below. Anyway, he and I are friends lovers as well. And, um, and I look at this door and I think of him too. So Frank, go paint your front door purple. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. And uh, in the next vlog, I don't know what we'll be doing. We'll be cooking and just having some family time. It's quiet, it's peaceful here. No stress, no drama. And um, you know, this is just a place where everybody is welcome and we practice kindness. We are kind humans here. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe before you go. and We will see you next time. Bye.